you don't want a bowling coach who played a decade ago. You want someone who played recently and who has been uh, with yeah. the clubs. Wish our guys well. Uh, I'm excited to be watching the matches. We need this you know, badly. Um, and a few good players turning it around. Some good, uh, you know, skills on display. Good to watch mm. how they are playing, analyzing, um, and moving along. Um, change of management um, yeah. always a good sign. It always brings a bit of energy. Again, okay, Australia also has a change of uh, their coaching setup. But for us, if we seem to have been able to structure it a lot more, there seems to be a lot. There's not no uncertainty if that makes sense for the playing group. Yeah, he seems to be enjoying uh, a new coach, Silwood. Yeah, enjoying the challenge and good to see <laughs> Navid Nawaz sitting with the boys and he's still like a youngster celebrating with the young boys jumping up yeah. and down after a win. So yeah, it's really good to see. Um, this is a change. We need it. Malinga is very much involved. He's carrying the drinks um, to the bowlers and talking to them, giving them tips. So, yeah, need. Uh, yeah, this is this is the change what we needed. And yeah, exactly. Right. I'll just when you touch base on Malinga, something that came to my mind was because uh, I haven't, I haven't, you know, worked closely with him in his coaching capacity. I'd like to know whether he's more of a, you know technically driven coach or is more of a mindset coach or what his coaching style is. Mm. Um, so I guess we'll, the more we see him, we'll under, have an understanding, but I'm, he's got a good brain, cricketing brain. He's got yeah. a good yeah. brain on his head. So I don't think he'll be more into techniques for us because, mm. you know, he has the weirdest action. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> bowling yeah. action uh, in the cricket world so you can't yeah, yeah so and uh, yeah you're right he's very good with his tactics he think mm. about they think differently about the game and yeah. especially with field settings the way he work batsmen mm. out like setting people up <clears throat> and all that so and he played cricket till what three two years ago yeah so you know he's fresh from from playing you don't want a bowling coach who played a decade ago. You want someone who played recently and who has been uh, with yeah. the setups. Then you know he's up to date as well. So yeah, a lot of uh, just to finish that conversation. I think it relates a lot with the generations um, because they've seen him play and it is a lot more easy to transition because he say you bowl a yoke and he'll bowl a yoke and show the guys how to do it. That's yes. how connected he is. So players would have a lot of respect for him in that aspect. So the younger he is, the, the boys tend to relate a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye out as the matches go. The, the, the Ketarama game starting tomorrow, so which yep. is a Sunday. We're recording this on a Saturday night. England white ball cricket team is in Netherlands and they <laughs> They scored 498 for four yeah. against the Netherlands. So I think we should schedule more cricket patches against teams like Netherlands Moral as warm up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we started it once. Remember, we played Netherlands and I think we scored 440 or something. Yeah, this was, yeah. um, I think Sanat was playing. Yeah. 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 You're all right. It's yeah, good practice to have there, but still I mean, some team. I could feel for um Morgan when you look at his score book yeah. and he's got our first ball duck. What's he gonna oh. say to the team? Is like, oh, the ball was doing a bit. I could I got out to her when everyone else scored 100. So, uh, and <laughs> you you take the second week at like 223 and just Butler walks in. Yeah. <laughs> He goes, exactly. he goes 162 in 70 balls with 14 sixes. So. Crazy. I think yeah. there were so many lost balls as well. I was yeah. like, you don't uh, see that. That yeah, was carnage. <laughs> it's almost discouraging a country that is coming up to play cricket from playing cricket. When you play games like that, it's like, nah, don't bother. <laughs> don't bother. Yeah. 
I mean, Iceland, Iceland being, uh, you know, they've been begging ICC to give yeah, them yeah. one day status. I mean, um, on social media, they've been mocking ICC. So yeah. why not give them a chance as well? I mean, they'll be all right. Or maybe yeah, schedule yeah. one with Sri Lanka. We'll, we'll go and play in Iceland. At least, I mean, this way is good that the guys are scoring a lot of runs. Imagine if the batters couldn't hold a bat and the fast bowlers, I mean, about three, four guys sent to the hospital. That would have been ugly. So at least 500 <laughs> runs is a, yeah. is something to laugh about then, you know. <laughs> Imagine yeah. Mark Wood or Joffraj and knocking a oh, few no. Netherlands batters out of it. So um, just the bowling that had to improve with this Netherlands team. Yeah. No, they scored. I think they got two hundred and forty batting yeah. in the second inning. So yeah, yeah chance England would have said, "Nah, don't worry, no one. They're not getting close to this score. <laughs> okay, everyone a go, everyone a ball." So, um. <laughs> no, they, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I think after scoring four ninety eight, they were thinking about what they're gonna do in Netherlands. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <After the game. laughs> anyway, let's talk more about uh, England versus New Zealand in the next episode, Para.